So one question a lot of students have about operational amplifiers is what is the difference between the two terminals? In most of the circuits problems we solve in electrical engineering, these two terminals will have the same voltage or something very close to the same voltage. From that, it's reasonable to expect that they have the same purpose, these two terminals. However, in order to understand more deeply and in order to see why we care which terminal is connected to what, let's put the internal voltage source of the operational amplifier in our model for a moment. We have VP minus VN times A as the output voltage and VP here and VN here where this is the plus terminal and this is the negative terminal. So we keep this model in mind when we move on to the next step. The next step <coughs> is to draw the simplest feedback circuit that we have for operational amplifiers, both forwards, the way we usually see it, and with the terminals flipped in a configuration that we usually don't use and we'll explain why we don't use it by analyzing what happens when we run the circuit. So an equation for each of these is in this case V out times A, that gain of the operational amplifier, times V in minus V out in this case. And over here, we have V out equal to A times V out minus V in. So looking back at our original model, we see that we have the positive terminal voltage minus the negative terminal voltage. So here, <coughs> we see positive terminal voltage VI minus negative terminal voltage V out. And here, positive terminal voltage V out minus the negative terminal V voltage V in. So analyzing these the conventional way and simply calculating the transfer function for these would actually give you two equations which look pretty similar and which would seem to have basically the same effect. Uh, this one's plus. One over A minus one. These two transfer functions are both going to be equal to V out equals V in in the case that A is very large. However, if we look at this another way and just look at these equations and what they mean for small differences between V in and V out, then we'll start to understand the pattern better. So if we had a small difference between V out and V in and say that V in is very slightly smaller than V out, oops, in this case, V out will be given a very large negative number. So V out will try to go down in the case that V in is smaller than V out. So, and if V in is larger than V out, V out is going to try to go up in this case because then you end up with a very large positive number up here. In this other case, however, if V in is slightly smaller than V out, then V out is going to be pushed towards a very large positive number and vice versa, if V in is larger than V out, V out is going to be pushed very far down. So where this one, V out is going to be driven to e be equal to V in, in this case, V out is going to go very, very high or very, very low, depending on whether it was initially higher or lower than V in. <coughs> so we have a positive, so we have a negative feedback here driving the amplifier towards stability. And we have a positive feedback here driving the amplifier towards instability. So hopefully this clears it up a little bit because now you can see that while these two cases look similar in most of the calculations we would do with them, we find that in the end one of them is stable and one of them isn't. And the solution to making all of your circuits stable is to make sure that they all have some form of negative feedback. In other words, see to it 
that in every case, when you design an amplifier circuit, that there is some path from the output to the negative terminal. It doesn't matter if it's a fairly high impedance path, as long as there's a way for it to happen at all frequencies, the amplifier can drive the op amp to stability. But if you only have positive feedback mechanisms, then the amplifier won't be able to drive itself to stability and you'll have an unstable system. So for op operational amplifier circuits, you're going to need to make sure that you have negative feedback. 